Picture this. You're miles from civilization. You drop your backpack, unfold it into a flying machine, and take off, soaring into the sunset with mountains in the distance. In this video, we're taking a look at a flying machine that has been creating quite a buzz recently. It is the Yanis One by X Control Systems, also nicknamed the Flying Suitcase. Why? Because when it's folded, that's exactly what it resembles. We will also reveal its price at the end, and it might shock you. So without further delay, let's begin. For a single person aircraft that you can carry on your back, the Yanis One has surprisingly impressive numbers. It offers a flight endurance of 30 to 40 minutes, a range of up to 50 kilometers, a payload capacity of 200 kilograms, and a ceiling of 6,000 meters. Not only can it take off and land on solid ground, but it can also operate from water. And yes, it can be fully folded and carried like a backpack that is just 3 feet long, 2 feet wide, and 1 foot tall. Though you'll need some strength because it weighs 70 kilograms. Currently, it operates with a 5 gallon fuel limit. Performance aside, the Yanis One also stands out visually. With its tandem rotor layout, it looks like a miniature Boeing Chinook. At the moment, it's powered by a turboshaft engine, but development work is underway on an electric version. Many of its current limitations, such as speed, which is 62 miles per hour, fuel capacity and passenger count exist primarily because it must comply with the ultralight aircraft certification rules. The upside is that to fly it, no pilot license is required. The aircraft made a noticeable impression at the Oshkosh this year. Interestingly, it showed up only after about two years of quiet development and testing. Published footage shows it flying everywhere from the Himalayas to Svalbard near the North Pole. Some may point out that high-density cold air benefits rotorcraft performance, but there's also video of it maneuvering over swampy, low-altitude terrain, thus demonstrating broader capability. So, let's look at the interesting features of its design. To keep the weight low and yet the strength high, the airframe is constructed from carbon fiber. Like the Chinook, its tandem rotor configuration brings two main advantages. Firstly, no tail rotor is needed as the counter-rotating rotors cancel the torque. And the second is that the combined disc area is larger, thus improving the lift efficiency. Each rotor has a diameter of 3.44 meters, giving it a total disc area of 18.57 square meters. With the aircraft weighing 70 kilograms and an average pilot weight of around 85 kilograms, the total mass is roughly 155 kilograms and results in a disc loading of 8.34 kilograms per square meter, which is a very favorable figure. It is lower than the lowest disc loading rotorcraft that is the Robinson R-22 helicopter, which has a value of 14 kilogram per square meter. To put this further into perspective, let's compare it to another well-known single-seat aircraft, the Jetson 1. From image analysis, the Jetson 1 estimated rotor diameter is around 1.08 meters. The total disc area comes out to be 3.66 square meters for all rotors. The takeoff weight with pilot for Jetson 1 is 200 kilograms. The resulting disc loading is therefore 54.6 kilogram per square meter. So, we have two aircraft with dramatically different disc loadings, 8.34 kg per square meter for Yanis 1, as opposed to 54.6 kg per square meter for Jetson 1. And using simple calculations of momentum theory, the minimum induced hover power for each design is 8.8 kW for Yanis 1 versus 29.1 kW for Jetson 1. However, these numbers are theoretical and do not include real-world aerodynamic and mechanical losses. Accounting for efficiency factors, the realistic hover power requirements become approximately 12 to 18 kilowatts for the Yanis 1 and 41 to 58 kilowatts for the Jetson 1. This difference is significant and is one of the main reasons why the Yanis 1 is a strong candidate for electrification. As for the control system, the aircraft is fly-by-wire operated through a touchscreen tablet interface. 
The current turboshaft engine is mounted directly behind the pilot, meaning noise protection is essential. Interestingly, most public demonstration videos have no recorded audio, making it unclear how loud the aircraft truly is. The company has mentioned that an electric version is in development which will reduce both the noise and operating cost. The Yanis One is a compelling and innovative personal aviation concept. While it may not match the multi-copter style aircraft in agility, its much lower power consumption, folding portability, and tandem rotor efficiency make it stand out in an increasingly competitive field. With planned configurations for cargo, medical evacuation, recreation and surveillance, it appears positioned for more than just novelty. It represents a new approach to compact rotor aircraft. And now the cost. It is available for a hefty 249,800 US dollars as a fully assembled aircraft or 219,800 US dollars as a kit. And these prices do not include shipping. Let me know what you like about this aircraft. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.